Welcome back, everybody. We are here for NFC non fungible cast number 32, and we have an awesome podcast for you today. We're going to be talking about Eternal Dragons. It's a project that I've been involved with for a while, and I absolutely love them. Uh, I have been streaming on their Twitch page, uh, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, and I'll put the link below if you guys want to check that out. It's been a lot of fun. Um, they, uh, they've they been doing a lot of giveaways for their community, which has been awesome. Uh, they have contests every week. And uh, it's just a really, really good spot to get involved with if you haven't. If you want to learn more about it, we did another podcast a couple weeks back about their team and how incredible it is. Star-studded team, absolutely incredible. And today, uh, but you know what, let's get into that in a little bit. Right now, uh, I want to talk with WT. We are here with WT, um, a partner in crime. WT, what's going on? What's doing? Excited, man. Talk to me. Hey, how you doing, brother? Great to be back. It's been a minute, uh, but boy, yeah, you're right about this Eternal Dragons. Uh, you know, I, I was watching it for a while. And the more and more I started getting into the community and paying attention, I'm hooked now. I'm hooked. Uh, you got me getting dragons, uh, getting involved in the community. And yes, you're talking about the contests. I've been getting into their dragon hunts. I've been earning an attorneyum just by being involved. I think I'm up to like, I don't know, 2,000 attorneyum now. And nice. I had none like a couple of weeks ago. And it was just getting involved, just getting involved in their, their community. They're giving out their their uh, future token attorneyum for, the, for, their, for their ecosystem. And get involved in the dragon hunts, man. And you can get some eggs and possibly win an epic dragon. I absolutely love what they got going on from the dragon layers to the AMAs, the Twitch streams. And you've been just banging it out on the Twitch streams, especially that last one that you did. That one was The last one was so much fun. So in the last Twitch stream, I actually got to play the game for the first time. Uh, show the community for the first time and uh, I think it was a very very positive I think everyone loved it uh, a lot of questions a lot of answers um, and it was absolutely incredible <clears throat> I love the gameplay I think the community absolutely loved the gameplay and uh, and we're gonna actually break that down today that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna break that down in this video what we saw what what happened what the gameplay was like um, just all that that good stuff so I do want to break it down a little bit uh, before we get all into the, the nitty gritty. So I did get to play the game on the on the Twitch uh, on their Twitch channel, and uh, we did a couple different builds. The first one we went with uh, with an all Slayer build. So mm -hmm. how it works is there's affinities, there's uh, class types, and they all kind of work together. So uh, I was with uh, Aurelius, who is absolutely incredible. This man is is amazing. His personality, his charisma, his knowledge. He's the one that puts this game together. He's the game dev. He's the guy. And, uh, and I'll tell you, so he was on the stream with me and we broke it down. I'll put the link to the, the, the VOD in the, in the, in the Twitch stream. I'm going to put all the links you need in below. So please check those out if you want to learn more. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, we were kind of playing it together and he was like, all right, buy this unit, place this unit, put it here, do this, do that. And we ended up with a, uh, Slayer build, which is one of the types of units. And I believe he went with like the nature, nature, um, um, elements or whatever. Uh, and there was, uh, you could do different things. So you can, you can, there's different buffs that will, uh, trigger off of each other. There's different, uh, affinities. There's different, there's so many different ways that you can, you can theory craft and place your units and, and, and it's a very deep, uh, strategic game. And I love that. So, uh, WT from what you saw on the Twitch and what do you think, man? Uh, yeah, you, you guys like boy, I can't tell you the value that's packed in that Twitch stream. If anybody hasn't seen it, go back and check it out. Uh, Aurelius, uh, he's got like this intimidating presence about him for some reason, but like his like he was like almost like a kid getting involved in the game, getting so excited about it. Like there was a couple scenarios where you got like a specific combination of uh, of you know dragons with the stars and the right element, and like he would just get like super excited about. It. I love seeing it. It was like watching a kid on Christmas almost, you know. That but it, it's true. It's true cuz you you see him and it's like that's like his his baby we're playing. You know, we're playing with with his with his toys, you know? And uh, and he loved it. Like you could see the excitement and the passion come through him and that's you you, you want to see that. The passion, the love, the joy he has for this game. Uh this is uh, this is incredible. So sorry, keep going there. Yeah, so there I mean there's there's so much to this game, but I don't think it, it is complex, but it isn't. It it's it's got a lot that you can do with it, a lot of different strategy, a lot of different options, but it's easy to figure out just from, you know, watching that stream. I feel like I've learned so much about it and it's just going to come down to, you know, your placement of your guys, the classes of your guys, uh, you know, the, the, the affinity buffs, the, uh, what main skills do you have? What power skills you have? And when do they, when are they available to use depending on the duration that it takes to get to them? There, there's, there's just so much to it. I mean, we could talk about it all day. The stars. How many stars do you have on them? Because that's how much damage you're going to do if those assets are still there at the end of the round. And, oh, oh, by the way, there's the shot thing. I mean, just there's so much to it, like you said. You know what I mean? 
Right. So, so I'll give a quick rundown here. So every turn, uh, you get a shop. The shop po- po- pops up. It's always random heroes in the shop. It, it could be a dragon. It could be a, a minion. Okay. Now the dragons are always better than the minions and you can upgrade your shop. So you get, you get a certain amount of gold every turn, every turn that gold goes up by one. Okay. So to upgrade your shop, the first one, it costs four gold. So you can either upgrade your shop buy a unit, whatever it is. Okay. And every turn you're going to go up by one gold. Um, as you upgrade your shop, the, you get like say you're at one star then your shop's at two stars now you're gonna be able to get two star units and then if you upgrade your shop to say three stars now you're gonna be able to get three starred units and obviously the higher the star the better the unit and uh so there's a like a risk reward to that do you want to put more units on the field early uh and maybe get a little edge uh up front or do you want to start upgrading your shop maybe you're going to lose a few rounds early on in the game but your units are going to be uh upgraded faster so you got to like kind of there's risk reward to it uh when is a good time to upgrade when's a good time to place units obviously again um you know you got to make sure you get the right units on the on the field are you going to get slayers do you need two slayers three slayers or do you want warlocks or do you need tanks like and that's where the random factor comes in with the shop because you can refresh your shop more units come up maybe something you need pops up maybe something you need doesn't pop up so and maybe you know certain affinities there's so many different um factors that come in which i love so uh, i absolutely love that uh so yeah you can refresh the shop you can lock the units if you see a unit that pops up in your shop but you don't have enough gold to buy it you can lock it in the unit stays um there's and then there's again like you said the placement there's different placements when you place a unit down there's something called a roar which is basically a buff and it's directional right so it might buff beside the unit behind the unit in front of the unit so like those factors come into play as well there's Mm -hmm. so many different factors and then again you're trying to build your team but you also want to counter the other team because there's that rock paper scissors right uh like the warlocks beat the tankers the tankers beat the slayers the slayers beat the warlocks so there's definitely like a rock paper scissor kind of uh factor in as well so if you're building one type of a team, but the other team is, you know, building the thing that counters you, you might have to switch things up a little bit, you know? So there's so many factors that come in. And like you say, it's not a, it's not an overly complicated game to play, but it's probably a tough game to master, but you could definitely get in and play it. Um, once it comes out, it's going to be amazing. So, um, I, I was blown away by the gameplay. I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop playing. We streamed for a couple hours. It was like a two or three hour stream. It was really, yeah. really well done. And I didn't want to stop. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, yeah, break some of that down for us, WT. Well, you hit it pretty much on the head. You just you, you knocked it out of the park there. One little thing that I thought was amazing, and I'm actually seeing a couple other projects start to do this. I think some people are starting to catch on. You can't just have a game where it's just click, click, click. You get bored. You're not really drawn into it. What I really like about the shop that really can, like, get that engagement it's almost like that little bit of gambling factor not like a bad gambling factor but Mm. that rng of what you're going to get in the shop because like when you hit that reset it doesn't guarantee you're going to get something good or that's going to work with your current placement that you have on the field so that that rng factor it it, you get you get sucked in a little bit i I really is he was like you could say like when you get something good like oh yeah and when you get something bad like oh this sucks you know it it gives you that emotional up and down factor and i I absolutely love that they added that element to the game yeah and and another thing i I don't know if i I mentioned was even the placement so yeah you're talking about there's the rng factor there's the placement factor um again i will post the link below if you guys want to check out the stream it was really really well done you're going to get a lot of information there uh, even if you place your units frontmost, um, they're going to go first. So depending on what mm-hmm. row you put your unit in, that's what order they go in. Now, if 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 you have uh, units in your front row and they have units in their front row, it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors, who goes first, but we don't know that. It's kind of behind the scenes. De- it decides who goes first and not. That's more random. And I love that. So even placing your units with the buffs, placing your units with the frontmost, placing your units on the field, uh, certain units buff each other. So you want to like separate them from other units. So it, it just... There's so much to learn and so much to talk about. Again, I highly recommend you check out the uh, the stream uh, to uh, to get that information. I will put the list. I will put the Eternal Dragons Discord link below. Their Twitch stream below. Their Twitter. All their socials below. Make sure you check those out. This is uh, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing community. And like I say, it's a it's a it's a game with 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 a star studded team, uh, which is very very important to me, and an absolute A plus community, which is also very very important to me. And uh, they knocked those out of the park. Um, so that's I'm gonna that's enough about the gameplay, guys. Like I say, there's lots of uh, there's videos out there. Uh, Eternal Dragon is actually gonna post that on their YouTube channel. I'm gonna put their YouTube channel on this link as well. Uh, but I do want to talk. There was a AMA. There was a Twitch. Uh, sorry, a Twitter space. Uh, the other day where Alex was on and uh, WT break that down for us. 
there was a lot going on. If if you weren't paying attention, you missed a lot from like November 23rd up through like the 2nd of December. I mean, they really went on like this full court press of PR between Twitter spaces, AMAs, Dragon Layers, and community prize events, uh, with, you know, the Dragon Hunts and all that. But the biggest one, if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend on November 24th, the World of Freight Twitter spaces with Alex Arias. Uh, I knew about the team. I knew about how experienced that they were, but I really got a good feel on Alex that day. And uh, as a CEO, you want a CEO to be well-spoken. You want them to know about their product. You want them to understand how the Web2 space comes from. And you also want them to know how the Web3 space. And he checks all those boxes. He speaks very confidently, very eloquently. And every single time there was a question, he nailed it. In addition to that, there was all kinds of valuable information there about how they have a four-year runway, which is huge in the space right now, especially in the bear market. They're talking about, you know, uh, being chain agnostic. The roadmap of things to come was absolutely dynamic. Royalties for the dragons, royalties for the breeding. And it was just absolutely amazing. And I feel like I got a good, a good feel for Alex, and it gave me a lot of confidence for where this game is going. Yeah, I've heard, I've, I've listened to all his AMAs, and the man is just, he's so... Uh, confident. He knows what he's talking about. You can tell he's not guessing him, second guessing himself. He's not just making things up on the spot. Like he knows the answer and, uh, and the experience, uh, you know, I, I mentioned this all the time. Experience is something you can't buy and he has it. And it's like, uh, you, it gives you full confidence in, in not just him, but his team and the project. Uh, when you hear the, the, the CEOs, the main guys talk like this and he's just like, yeah, he, he'll nail it out of the park. And, uh, there's only a couple people I've ever seen in this uh, space that can, that have answers and, and, and that knowledge that he has. And it's, 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 it's amazing. So highly recommend you check that out as well, guys. Um, eternal dragons. Don't sleep on this. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, I truly, truly believe, uh, in this and um and yeah i'll be playing it a lot i'll be playing it on the eternal dragons twitch channel i'll be playing it on my personal twitch channel uh once it goes live and uh and i'm sure wt will be as well so um yeah this was uh, this was great an amazing game uh and uh yeah i think that's it about that D wt any final thoughts on on the the space the project that's the uh, the streams anything like that I can't wait for this game to come out. It, it, it's going to be very, very streamable. Uh, just the strategy involved. Uh, I, that's what I'm into right now. What games can I play? And this is right around the corner. So I'm super jacked about it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Big shout outs. Big shout outs to the community. Uh, Lotus and, and uh, Atticus and, and all you guys. Grishy. All you guys out there. Wink. All you guys in the community. Psy. Psy Dot. Uh, uh, Isolator. All you guys. You know who you are. We play a lot of games uh, in the, in the, through with the community. And it's just, you know, I'm really uh, thankful that we all got to meet. Uh, and get to get to know each other like this. All right, guys, big shout outs to the community, big shout outs to the team, big shout outs to uh, the project. Uh, we love you guys. We are out of here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You know the drill, guys. And we are out of here, guys. Have a great day. Peace.